someone asks how to deal with when it seems that the voice of love is telling something different than the voice of wisdom when it seems like opposites. Where wisdom is and where love is, there are two things. In oneness is only one. United they are the nameless one. Listening to that which is beyond the voice of love and the voice of wisdom enables to be with the nameless, the undivided one that is beyond love and beyond wisdom. Utmost pure love does not do anything. The sunlight is not doing anything. It is just there it happens by itself. Utmost pure wisdom does not do anything. Air is not doing anything. It is just there. The act of listening is something that adds already something to the utmost pure. Thereby it becomes less pure. The moment there is a listener taking shape, manifoldness appears. Mixing up can happen. Impurity in its neutral sense is there. It is subtle nothing to be afraid of. Only the conclusions, the thinking about it, makes mixing up appear stronger. What helps is to take a breath, to invite wisdom and love simultaneously when hesitation or second thoughts are felt. By inviting both at the same time, the common ground of both can be seen, can be felt, can be experienced stronger and more clear than before. Sometimes just by nature the connection to the voice of love is more easy accessible. Sometimes it is the voice of wisdom. When there is access to both voices at the same time and confusion comes regarding something that seems like opposites, then it is helpful like mentioned before, to stay with the breathing, with existence itself, and thereby let the aspect of doing that is with listening fade, so that natural being without the act of listening can breathe on its own accord. Thereby parting something into love on one hand and wisdom on the other hand will vanish. And the connectedness with the all-encompassing one can be naturally there without any experiencer, without a doer, 
without a listener. No voices will appear that say, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. And then there's also an utmost pure voice that appears without the act of listening. It is like the lightning in a thunderstorm. It is not to grasp, it cannot be waited for, it just happens in a sudden, and it strikes like a lightning strikes. This kind of voice is free from naming love and naming wisdom. It is the all-encompassingness itself that takes shape as a form of guidance. To point more clearly to the core of the question asked, invite both at the same time. Lay your forehead on the ground and wait. Be with the breath. Just be. Just be, just be. And the seeming opposites will thin away. <laughs>